What's going on guys, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be talking about five ways you can save money with your reef tank. Alright guys, so today is a day of days and this is Sunday, so you know what that means, another Mad Hatter's Reef video coming out for you. And if you're new to the channel, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related, so if you love reef tanks like I do, gently press that subscribe button in the face. So before we jump into the meat and potatoes of today's video, there was something that I stumbled across that I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was absolutely hilarious. I was checking out some Ecotech Marine videos and Jay from Ecotech Marine was interviewing a gentleman from NIOS and then this happened. They're preserved by uh, food science, so in theory you could eat it, but it would taste awful. The part that absolutely kills me in this video is Jay's reaction to it. He just kind of looks at the wall like he wasn't even really understanding what was happening. I'm starting to laugh now even just talking about it. And to make things worse, they actually started drinking the fish food. Um, you were wrong about one thing though, which is that, you know, I mean, it's actually pretty delicious. It's delicious? Yeah, I don't know if you... Um I don't know if you ever drink it yourself, but you know, I usually oh. like to have a shot in the morning. Yeah, that brings you the vitality you need, right? Yeah, well, yeah. well, cheers, dude. You cheers. <laughs> I thought that that was absolutely hilarious. I wanted to share it with you guys. I laughed, I watched it like five times and laughed just as hard each time. Mm. What does it taste like? Uh, fish fish actually it tastes like fish and while we're on the subject ecotech marine has been making a ton of videos as of late and the subscriber count is kind of low so if you guys want to check out more videos like this one that i showed in this there's a link down in the description below that will take you to ecotech marine hit that subscribe button show them some love and encourage them to make more hilarious videos just like this one. Like smoked sal salmon? Actually, yeah, that's surprisingly not bad. It does, yeah, it tastes yeah. exactly like smoked salmon. Yeah. Just. We might find a new market for it. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I need some water. New concept, new idea. I wanted to try it out. And if this video does well, maybe we'll do some more of them. What we're gonna be doing today is talking about five ways you can save money with your reef tank. So let's jump right into it. Starting off with buying coral on eBay. You guys know that I've been buying coral on eBay for quite a while now. And I have found that I can get good coral much cheaper on eBay, especially with vendors that are very well known, uh, such as the video like I did last week where we took a look at a box or a mystery box that I had gotten from Worldwide Corals. And before I did that, I actually was buying almost weekly from Worldwide Corals on eBay, getting some awesome specimens for very minimal money. This has worked out for me so well that I've actually picked up a Snowdrop Aquapora from Worldwide Corals for $21. And this is a coral that commonly retails for anywhere from $100 to $150 on Worldwide Coral's website. Coming in at number four on our list today is setting up a Facebook group. Now this is something I personally did back in 2008 when the recession hit. I set up a group on Facebook because pet stores, local pet stores, very sadly started to close up shop. We were only left with one business, one decent business in the state of Maine, and really our only option outside of that was going to Petco. So what I did was I set up a Facebook page where people could trade corals, trade equipment, sell equipment, barter, give away, all this stuff, and essentially started a community of a like mind hobbyists to support one another when we didn't have a retail store around to support us. And this is something that has saved me a lot of money. I've been able to pick up equipment, decent corals from other fellow hobbyists within the state. We were able to come together and support each other. Coming in at number three is buying good equipment. It has been a mindset of mine for a very long time. I was a do-it-yourself kind of guy. Eventually I came to a crossroad, especially with saltwater aquariums, where I realized that there was a price to be paid with buying cheap equipment or doing do-it-yourself projects all the time when you could buy a solid product that you're only gonna buy one time and last a very long time and be able to create an environment within your aquarium 
that's going to sustain corals and fish. In my earlier days, I would buy shoddy equipment and I really paid the price a few times where I had systems actually crash due to inadequate equipment. Now, it seems kind of funny to put this in a video where we're talking about saving money, but ultimately buying good equipment less often is going to save you money in the long run. Next on our five ways that you can save money is maintenance. Preventative maintenance can save you a ton of money. The more often that you clean your equipment, keep it clean, making sure that it operates in the way that it should is going to extend the life of that piece of equipment. That means you're gonna to have to buy less equipment. You're not gonna to need to replace that piece of equipment as often. Preventative maintenance is a huge part of keeping equipment up and running. And coming in at number one on our five ways you can save money with your reef tank is education. Educate yourself and others. This is one way that you can prevent horrible things from happening. You aren't going to mix fish that aren't supposed to be with invertebrates or fish that shouldn't be with other fish. And there's tons of information out there on the internet and here on YouTube, people that are sharing their experiences, the things that go wrong, as well as the things that work out for them. And all you need to do is just click on it. Click Educate yourself, educate others. It's going to save you a ton of money when it comes to your reef tank. All right, guys, so that's it for our five ways you can save money with your reef tank. I hope that you found something in this video, something that helps you save a little bit of money when it comes to setting up and maintaining a reef tank. And make sure you share this video with people, friends, and other hobbyists that possibly are looking to save a few dollars when it comes to setting up and maintaining their reef tank. All right guys, so we're at that point in the video where we jump into the random YouTube comment selector type thing and pick ourselves a winner of a $25 gift certificate to Mystery Reef Box. So let's jump into that now. All right guys, so here we are, random winner picker. Nope, that's not gonna work. And Chuck Hall, you just convinced me to join Worldwide Corals Coral Club. I'm signing up right now. Very informative. Congratulations, Chuck. You have won yourself a $25 gift certificate to Mystery Reef Box, and you can use that at the store or for a Mystery Reef Box subscription. Congratulations to the winner of the $25 gift certificate. What I have found it, the best way to reach out to me is jumping on Facebook, finding the Mad Hatter's Reef page, hitting the like button and shooting me a message. We'll have a nice little chat and I will get that $25 gift certificate out to you. And to everybody else that wants to throw their name in the hat, all you need to do is hit the like button on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe to Mad Hatter's Reef and you might win yourself a $25 gift certificate to Mystery Reef Box. And if you want to support the Mad Hatter's Reef channel, check out my merch, it's down below. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button, and I will see you next week right here with a brand new video.